So today we're um, visiting Sealjet. Sealjet is our main suppliers of seals, specifically for hydraulic cylinder rebuilds, strips and reseals. Uh, Sealjet's been in operation quite a number of years. There's two parts of their operation. This part of this video is actually going to show us the standard seals that they have. Um, items that they buy in from the manufacturers and then distribute to um, workshops like ourselves. So part one, let's start. So uh, these are actually wear bands. Wear bands are designed to support and prevent metal to metal contact uh, of parts. So they do that by filling in the gaps uh, between a metal piston and the metal barrel. These are uh, a Teflon lined bearing. Usually you'll find them in the ends of um, the rod end clevises on cylinders. Uh, you'll actually find that they're pressed into a uh, board hole on the end of the barrel and on the end of the rod uh, and the pin actually fits in there. Uh, the Teflon provides a, a wearing surface and obviously it's assisted with um, grease that's usually injected and lubricated in. These are a special little seat actually. They're, they're called a um, flare, what are they called? There's a special name for them, can't remember it now. Um, designed to actually assist in sealing uh, male to female JIC hose fittings. I mean, they're actually a stainless steel tapered um, cone and they're actually coated with a solid Loctite product. So um, if you don't have quite the right sealing surfaces, these will take up any inconsistencies, whether there's a little corrosion or some machine marks or even some indentations caused by foreign matter getting trapped when the last time you did it up. Used a lot in marine applications. Um, very expensive for what they are, but uh, better than changing out adapters and changing out hose ends. Here's a, uh, what looks like a high pressure rotary seal. These will get pressed into a outer casing of a motor or a pump. Uh, some of them will take quite high pressures depending on their construction. The shaft will rotate through there, but the, 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 there's rubber, but within the rubber, there's actually a metal case that actually supports the rubber. There's a series of um, what looks like piston seals, made up of probably five pieces, five piece piston seals, quite a large size, as you can see, that's looking up around sort of the five to eight inch bore. So that's a you know, getting up there in sizes as far as cylinders are concerned. O-rings, lots of different types and sizes and hardnesses of O-rings, metric O-rings, silicon O-rings. This is a four-piece piston seal, two backing rings on either side. We've got the dark O-ring in the middle, which is like what's called the exciter ring. And then on the outside of that, you've actually got a solid Teflon or metal, in metal, um, metal and Teflon um, composite. Um, so that's what actually takes up the, the pressure and prevents leakage from one side of a cylinder to the other side of the cylinder. Here's a five piece piston seal uh, combination of wear bands, the dark thick bands on, on the outsides are probably the wear bands. They take up the metal uh, metal to metal clearances so that there is no metal to metal contact and then you've got the white bands which are probably the what they call the um, they take up the thrust um, or backing rings and then you've actually got the, the seal the sealing ring in the middle which is obviously made out of a, a flexible uh, synthetic rubber material the black and the white items are probably made out of some type of uh, hard um, synthetic nylon like um, 
acetyl or something like that. Lots of different types of seals, mainly piston seals. Um, what are we looking at there? Here's some tooling. Generally used for seal installation, measuring. Here's another type of um, seal. It's actually an internal um, gland nut seal or a rod seal. Because you can see the O-ring the is on the outside and then the metal cased, or I mean, sorry, the metal impregnated synthetic material is on the inside. So this is designed to actually squeeze in and seal oil from leaking out through the um, the rod or the chrome rod. Um, and as you can see that there is a tiny little internal groove there, that groove, that step actually points towards the pressure. So this, that's actually a, what we call a, um, a rod seal. So that's designed to prevent oil leaking out as the rod, chrome rod moves up and down, in and out on the inside of that seal. Here's another type of rod seal, an internal rod seal. Uh, some different types and, of wear bands. Wear bands can actually come in different thicknesses and obviously a continuous length and they're actually cut to length. Uh, well, this is how it actually starts life. It starts life as a continuous roll of um, composite product. Uh, this is probably a, a bronze, um, a bronze Teflon composite type of wear band. Different type of wear band again. This is obviously a Horlite product, as you can see. Uh, Horlite, uh, probably world famous for their products and the, and the unique um, special trademarked secret materials that they use of very, very high quality. Hydro backups. Backup rings are designed to actually support an O-ring. They actually go behind the O-ring. So the O-ring sees the pressure first and the backing ring supports the O-ring and actually prevents it from extruding out. Um, Hydrol is a is a type of product that has some stretch, so you don't you can actually stretch these backing rings into a groove without having to actually cut or slice them in a diagonal way. Uh, I really like the product. Uh, a lot of people don't seem to use it. I'm not sure if it's an expense issue or something like that, but I think they're a great. Uh, just a helps in assembly if you don't actually have a gap that can actually pop open as you're assembling things. So this is another type of rod seal. Uh, obviously quite a large rod seal for a large chrome rod on a cylinder. Looking at the hands, this is probably a four to five inch um, rod. The white band there is actually a uh, an exciter. Um, helps support the um, the rod seal from um, deforming under high pressures and the rod again you know it, it will seal inside a groove in the gland nut and the chrome rod will slide in and out of that bore. Here's the other side of that rod seal so it's also got an internal support or exciter ring probably designed for very high pressures Generally, when you see supports on the inside as well as supports on the outside, you're probably talking very high pressures here, you know, maybe up to 10,000 psi.